All right, Larry Kruger from the Pig and a Pickle Krug show with a little 49er video from the Combine. Yep, it's that time of year. The 49ers are meeting with potential draft choices, guys that they have a little interest in. And, you know, teams meet with players for a number of reasons. Sometimes they meet because they've got a question they want to ask. Sometimes they meet because they have an issue they want to resolve. Sometimes they just you know, are meeting, some teams have a different philosophy. Everybody's got a different approach. Some teams are, are meeting with guys that, you know, they're looking to potentially draft, you know, other guys are looking, other teams are looking to kind of round out their board and get as much information as they possibly can. So just because a team is meeting with a player doesn't necessarily mean that they plan on drafting them but it does usually mean that they have some interest in the prospect and the Niners met with five guys and I'm going to tell you the five guys and then we're going to go over them. And I'm going to tell you the two that I really, really like. All right, here are the five guys, Nathaniel tank Dell, um, the slot wide receiver from Houston. And this is an interesting kid. He's from Daytona beach, Florida, and he's five ten, about 165 pounds. He was highly productive the last couple of years, for the Houston Cougars. This is Clayton Toon's number one receiver. He's a two-time first team all ACC player. Um, you know, 109 receptions in 2022 and 17 touchdowns. And that's after he had 90 receptions in 2021 and 12 touchdowns. So we're talking about a very productive football player and a very fast wide receiver. Uh Tank Dell, they call him Tank, but don't don't confuse it. His, his speed is big time. This is a burner. This guy can take the top off the defense. My only concern with Tank is that he's a little bit, despite the nickname, he's a little slight. You know, you're talking about a player. A lot of NFL teams have like a 170-pound cutoff. If a guy's not 170 pounds, they won't put him on their board. Nathaniel Tank Dell is about 165 pounds. So interesting player. Um, you know, started off at Alabama A&M, then went to Independence Community College and then wound up at Houston. And he has just been incredibly productive the last couple of years for the Cougars. Uh, Nathaniel Tank Dell. I like him, but the one thing about him that makes me go, eh, is I think he's fragile. And, you know, they drafted Danny Gray last year. Gray, I think, is a better version in some ways of Nathaniel Tank Dell. Um, you know, because he's got a little bit more heft to him, a little bit more muscle. He's not just a go pattern guy, but tank Dell. I mean, the one thing you can't deny, he's got almost 200 receptions in the Cougars offense. The last two years, very productive, but little concerned about how slight he is. All right. The next guy in the list is Virginia's wide receiver, Dontavian Wicks. Um, he was actually named the top practice player among the wide receivers at the senior bowl by the opposition's uh, cornerbacks, which is a good designation. He's 6'2", 208 pounds. He went to high school in Louisiana uh, where he played quarterback and wide receiver in high school. And, you know, he's a first team all ACC player in 2021. He scored nine touchdowns and then only had kind of had a down senior year, only had two receiving touchdowns in 2022. Um, The one thing you can say about Wicks he, you know, he missed all of 2020 with a f- injured foot, but he's a, he's a, you know, he's got great ball skills, um, excellent ball skills. I mean, really does. He'll catch everything around him. He's got a pretty good catch radius. Um, he had a 39 inch vertical, so he's a pretty good athlete, but there's, but you know, it, it, to me, there's a couple things. He's not a great route runner and he had 14 drops over the last two seasons. And then when you look at his 40 time, he ran four, six, two. So great um, production, you know, the last couple of years, except for down year, he had a really, really good 2021, I should say. And, you know, he's, he's definitely an athletic player who can jump, but those drops, the lack of ball, I mean, the, um, the ba- lack of route running, And the down senior year, um, that's just, to me, not my favorite receiver. Um, I can see why they wanted to talk to him, and he's definitely had had an interesting senior bowl week. But Dontavious Wicks, they met with him, but I would say he's not one of my favorites. All right, let's go to the next guy, Puka um, Nakua from BYU 
who wore number 12 at BYU. He's going to be a day three pick. He's 6'2", 201 pounds. He started his career at UW, transferred to BYU. He's a he's a kid that was born in Utah. He's born in Provo um, and went to high school there in Orem, Orem High School in Orem, Utah. He had 58 career high school touchdowns, which is a state record. So he's a great high school player. His brother, Kai, actually played in the NFL. Um, and this kid, you know, Puka's got nice ball skills. He's a really competitive player. But the speed is just okay. The acceleration isn't really there. He does have a hoops background. But, you know, when you really look at the number one thing that Kyle Shanahan likes in wide receivers, he likes guys who gain a lot of separation. And Puka Nakua just does not. So he's a competitive player. He's got pretty good size. He's got pretty good production. Nice ball skills. Uh, comes from an athletic family, but the speed and the ability to separate isn't there. And when you watch him, you just don't see top tier acceleration. So I'm not a huge fan of Puka. All right, here's another guy that they looked at, Demar Demario Douglas, who's a slot wide receiver who played for Liberty. 5'8", 180 pounds, kid from Jacksonville, Florida. I love this player. 79 receptions, six touchdowns this last year. This guy is shifty. I mean, this might be one of the shiftiest wide receivers I've ever seen. He's got amazing stop and start quickness. Really, really quick. I mean, really quick. Um, he, you know, and 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 the ability to stop and start his route running, he can lose guys. He's got game breaking speed. He went to Indy. He ran 4.44 in the in the 40. He had a 39 and a half inch vertical. Um, and he's a fierce competitor, uh, and he's got huge run after the catch ability. Now, there is a red flag. I mean, he is 5'8", so he's not the biggest receiver. He's probably going to be a day three pick. He might even be an undrafted guy. I like him just for the ability to make people miss, the stop and start, the shiftiness. He's This guy is no picnic to break down in space and try to tackle. He does have six career muffed punts. Um, you know, on his resume. And that's a lot. That's a lot. But I'll be, I'd be interested in having this guy in camp because the stop and start quickness, the, the suddenness, the shiftiness, the ability to make people miss the game breaking speed. This guy's a, this guy is a special teams monster. Now you got to get his hands, right? You got to work him on the, on the, on the jugs machine. You got to make sure that, you know, he doesn't fumble consistently. But man, day three, you know, late day three, like a round seven pick or an undrafted free agent, Demario Douglas from Liberty, slot receiver, I'd have a lot of interest in him. And then the Niners also met with a fifth wide receiver, Jonathan Mingo, the wide receiver from Ole Miss. And he's a kid from Brandon, Mississippi. Um, I love this player. I think Jonathan Mingo is a tremendous player. 6'2", 225, built like a tank. This guy's tough. And he can beat man-to-man -man coverage. He blocks. He's explosive. Despite being 225 pounds, he can get vertical. Um, he's got hands. He's got hand-eye coordination. He's got big hands, too. His hands measured out at 10 and a half inches. Uh, he's an outstanding route runner. Now, the deep speed, like when you watch him, he does get deep at the college level. I don't know that he's going to get deep on NFL corners. He did run four four six uh in Indy. So that's a good time. That's a really a great time at 6'2, 225 pounds. But I like Jonathan Mingo. Then you think of Ole, at Ole Miss. I mean, AJ Brown, DK Metcalf. Um, they've put together some pretty good wide receivers coming out of there the last few years. And Mingo's just another. He may not be, he's not as good as AJ Brown. He was never brought, he was never thought to be that good. He's not the workout freak like DK Metcalf. But, I mean, you're talking about 6'2", 225, pretty yoked up, and he runs 4'4", 6", has tremendous hands, can get vertical, is explosive, can block, has big hands, can run routes. I like Jonathan Mingo. So there you go. To set it up, the Niners met, have met with five wide receivers that I know of. Tank Dell from Houston, uh, Dontavian Wicks from Virginia, Puka Nakua from BYU, Demario Douglas from Liberty, and Jonathan Mingo from Ole Miss. 
And if it was up to me, I would probably rank a Mingo number one, Demario Douglas number two, Tank Dell number three, and then, you know, I don't know about Wicks and Nakua, but as far as the guys that I would have interest in, man, if the Niners, the, you know, wide receiver is not a huge need for the Niners. You've got Debo, you've got Ayuk, you've got Jawan Jennings, you have Danny Gray, you have Ray Ray McLeod, Tay Tay or Tay Martin, big play Tay is coming back for year two. He was on the practice squad. He's got great ball skills. Uh, he's He can really catch it. Tremendous catch radius. There's a lot to like about Tay Martin. So in theory, the 49ers go into this draft not needing wide receiver. They got a, they've got a lot of needs on this team, and wide receiver is not one of them. But, man, if you get to day three, if you get after the draft and, you know, Demario Douglas or Jonathan Mingo or even Tank Dell – are hanging around and you can, you got a chance to bring one of those guys to camp this summer. Do it. Dell and Douglas are home run hitters. Mingo is a big bodied physical receiver who could help you quite a bit in the red zone. Um, really interesting list, but I would say Demario Douglas, Jonathan Mingo and tank Dell would be the guys that I would have interest of interest in, in the three, in the five of the five wide receivers that worked out for the 49ers. All right. That is your Pig in a Pickle Krug Show 49er video on the 49er wide receivers. Make sure you go to the Pig in a Pickle Krug Show channel on YouTube and check out all of our latest 49er content.